dear friends, welcome to Wort des Alltags, our daily dose of hope from the Open Church Elisabeth. My name is Sabrina. Für alle unter euch, die nicht Englisch sprechen, auf unserer Facebook-Seite findet ihr auch ein Video, wo euch Monika genau das Gleiche auf Deutsch erzählt. Today um, I am sitting in the cafe of our church. Maybe you have already been here, maybe you have already enjoyed one of the super delicious um, Italian cappuccinos in here or even better outside when it's sunny, where it's warm. Um, today the coffee is closed because Jörn Scherer, who runs the coffee, had to close it. Um, all of his employees who are paid by the hour, they are at home without work. Jörn is in a jam. He is in a very difficult situation, like many, many other people who are either on short-time work or on leave of absence for the next few weeks. So how can Jörn contribute to the income of his family? How can he provide together with his wife to a family of four? The Federal Council has signaled help and the government of the canton of Basel City has promised quick and uncomplicated help. And also the director of trade and industry has welcomed this. But I can't imagine how much work, how much step, how much organization, how much administration it will take for all uh, these people to really help our entire economy and to help everyone. So they have a really, really great task ahead of them. Today, um, we got sent a very impressive article that says, translated, the most important thing is not only that the virus is contagious, but also your behavior. The Dutch historian Ruther Bregman underlines in an interview what, the, what neurobiologists like Gerhard Hütter and others prove scientifically that the humans are altruistic by nature. That means they are helpful and good. When something bad happens, like, like for example now the situation with the coronavirus, all that we see in media, in WhatsApp, in videos, in messages, in pictures are um, pictures of panic buyers, of selfishness, pictures of people who fight over toilet paper, who steal things out of the basket of other people. The main thing, so it appears for all of us, is that I have enough toilet paper, that I have a breathing mask, that I have disinfectant shield, that I have pasta and rice and milk, and I don't care about all the others. But is that true? What do scientists say? How does the majority of the people really behave? Experts have clearly, st clearly stated that, that in a crisis, the, the following, following, following happens usually. There is a real huge explosion of helpfulness. People network. They sing on the balconies like we've seen in Italy, very impressive. Young people help their offer. People write to each other. They pray for each other. They make phone calls. They support each other. They spread courage and hope. They do care for each other. Also for people they maybe never have met before or neighbors that they've never spoken to. And there is also a huge increase of, sensibility, of sensitivity and solidarity. Well, one thing is clear, humans are not angels, we are not perfect, but we have to abandon this image that humans are beasts, that are, they are monsters and they are selfish and stupid. The Bible, for example, tells us something different. It tells us that human, the human is the image of God. 
the human is constantly capable of doing good. This is also what our favorite Rabbi Jesus says when he meets constantly depressed, marginalized and sick people, people who nobody else cares for, who nobody else speaks for, and he says to them, your trust, your faith has helped you. The good is possible in all variations. And love is the most important thing. Those who love embody something of the divine. I imagine the good and the love as a bright energy field to which I can connect myself, to which I can plug in. And I also can connect other people to it. Or maybe a more personal imagination. I imagine this love and the good as this Jewish Rabbi Jesus, who was kind towards all people and who every day infects me new with this kindness. We have a picture for you. It is in German. It says, man muss mit allem rechnen, auch mit dem Guten. The translation is, you have to count with everything, also with the good. And there are a lot of people in Basel who do good and who help, with, help each other. For example, um, you can find in the Facebook group Gernsche Basel Hilft a lot of people who connect with each other and who want to help and also people who are looking for help in this situation right now. If you yourself need help or you need someone to talk to, you can call us every Monday to Friday from 5 o'clock until 7 o'clock. The number is 061-272-7200. We will also show the number uh, here somewhere. We also ask you and encourage you to light a candle every night at eight o'clock and put it on your balcony or put it in your windowsill. Maybe you would like to, to say a prayer or you would like to think of people who are in need, to think of your loved one that you can't see right now and to connect to them uh, with your thoughts. So we wish you a good night, take care of yourself, be blessed, and we see you again on Monday. Bye.